everybody, it's Kelsey Rihanna J here with my foundation routine video. In this video, I wanted to share with you my techniques for applying my foundation. I actually mixed two foundations in this video. Now, I used two of my favorite foundations. I hope that you guys saw my favorite foundation video and, you know, picked out a few for yourself, maybe tested them out, a few, two or two or three or so. But um, in this video, I actually mixed two of them and that's something that I do quite frequently. A lot of times I find that when you mix foundations, you just get the coverage that you want you get the finish that you want because one foundation is just not enough sometimes you just need to mix to customize it in this video I used a beauty blender to apply my foundation but I do have other brushes that I use sometimes it's just like ever since I've tried and used the beauty blender it's almost like using other things just takes too long and it doesn't really make sense it's like I don't, I don't even know why you girls bother at this point like bringing it back to a more professional level. I'm pretty sure that is um, Beauty Blender's general attitude towards foundation brushes nowadays. Like why? Like why? Why do you even need one? But anyways, the Beauty Blender just basically just flawlessly applied my foundation. So in the demonstration, you guys can see, you know, how I apply my foundation using the Beauty Blender. But with no further ado, because I don't have anything else to talk about during this intro, I want to go ahead and cut to that so you guys can you know, learn a few things. Let me know if you do down in the comment section. If you don't, just say, hey girl, and I'll see you guys after that. I feel like my face just looks really, really blah today. So, I'm going to start off with my MAC Strobe Cream. This is not a primer. What this does is it gives your face a little bit more illumination and makes your face look more glowy and youthful. You see what I mean? It just looks more luminous than the other side, which kind of looks dull. So because I'm going to use a super like glowy, radiant foundation, luminous foundation, I need to apply some type of mattifying primer like in my T-zone and areas where I just get super oily because although I'm putting on a luminous foundation, I want it to be luminous where I want it to be luminous, not everywhere. So for that, I'm using the Makeup Forever Step one skin equalizer. This one is the mattifying one. But I'll just put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And so I go in with the tip of the beauty blender now. And I apply this like on my forehead because that's what gets foolish. Down my nose, like on the sides of my nose. And then right here. It's not even all the way down here. It's just right here. It gets foolish. So today I'm using two different foundations. The first one that I'm using is the Makeup Forever. <sighs> Ultra HG Invisible Cover Stick Foundation and then I'm going to use the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. First, I'm going to use the stick foundation. I have the color Y445 because it is a darker foundation. So I'm going to apply this like on the perimeter of my face. I'm not going to take it in and then I'm going to take a little bit right here, just a little bit and blend that in with my beauty blender. So I just go in with the butt of the same beauty blender that I was using and just make sure that this is really buffed out. I try to move my hair. If you have like something to where your hair is not in the way, that's even better. But I just can't come on here with bonnets and stuff. Like some girls do, I just can't do it. Yes. And then I'm gonna add a little bit around my mouth just to cancel out some of that darkness but it's so dark there and sometimes I take my foundation like on the back and like drag it like that to like behind my ear and even sometimes I may even put it on my ear so blend it out pretty good but then we are going to add the other foundation this one is the Armani luminous silk foundation in the color number eight and I just start off with one pump and then I build according to how much I need so same butt of the beauty blender. I apply this in the middle of my face and blend it with that first foundation. Now this foundation is a little bit lighter than me right now, but it's okay because it gives me a really highlighted inner portion of my face. I apply this all over the center of my face. So on the sides of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, and then I make sure that it's blended really, really well. And I prefer to work with like the butt of 
the beauty blender i feel like it just covers so much more area than just going in with this side i use this part for concealer i want a little bit more coverage like on my cheeks so i'm gonna take about half a pump more and apply two dots on both sides of my face just to get an even amount of coverage and this is probably about how much foundation i'm going to use for the day and then i spend like maybe two minutes just going over my face doing this and i go over my lips too then i make sure that i blend it down my neck so this is how I apply my foundation all over my face. So a lot of times on videos, I already start off with my foundation done and this is all I do. I use my beauty blender and I go to town. I pretty much use my beauty blender regardless of whatever type of foundation I'm using for the day. I just feel like the beauty blender just really buffs out the products and I find that I don't really need that many more tools after that to apply foundation. So this is what it should look like. So here is one side of my face with the foundation and then here's the other. Okay, so the foundation is on. I am going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face and then I'll meet you back here and I'll finish talking to you guys because I know you're not ready to click off this video yet. Also a quick little tip that I wanted to add, depending on how dewy or how oily your face looks after you apply your foundation. Wow, that was an aggressive drop of ice but depending on how it looks you may want to take like a sheet of tissue split it apart that's really important so you're not lifting up so much of your foundation and press it over areas to absorb even more oil especially if you're super oily y'all are like why do you have this towel on because girl i'm about to do powder and i hate getting powder on my face i'm about to spray my face <laughs> I have my hair down so I put my pretend hair on and I'm going to spray my face with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because this is what's going to take away that powdery look of the powder that we use to set our foundation as well as lock it in so it lasts longer. So. I'm about to go fix my hair and I'll be back. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Don't leave. All right, so the demonstration was short and sweet to the point. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you learned something down in the comments section. If not, it's okay. I'm just glad that you're hanging out with me here on my channel. Make sure you thumbs up this video to like it because the more thumbs up we get, the higher up the video is rated and the more people that become to, you know, get to join my team. But, uh, and also if you're not subscribed, which I've been looking at my analytics and about half of you guys who watch me are not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my video. I'm just kidding. Okay. I'm being real crazy in this video. I'm like on one. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm like on one. But make sure you subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Smooches. Bye.